At some point in each of our lives, we've all been lied to. At some point in our lives, we've been lied to about something that's pretty important. And that thing is, how do we, how are we supposed to treat people who are different than us? Here's what, I'm, what I mean by being lied to. At some point, someone may have said to you, well, they're not like us. Or he's one of them. Well, I don't trust her because she's Italian. Or she only acts that way because she's Jewish. Clearly defining or distinguishing between us and everyone else. There's us normal people and there are them. There's us and there are the us. You have, have, I know that this is a long time ago, but have you been to Chuck E. Cheese at some point in your lives? Right? You know those monsters? At Chuck E. Cheese, right? The, the cartoon or whatever. And you know how some people are just terrified of these monsters? <laughs> Mostly adults, because kids are not. But it looks like, like monsters walking towards you, adults running the other way. And that's how, right, that's how Jackie, people at my college, were beginning to treat me. As if I was one of those monsters. Like, oh my God, there's that kid because he's black. You're going to catch him. And that kind of, it didn't freak me out, but it really kind of blew my mind. Because, again, I was always told, as probably were you, that if you study hard enough, you can get anything you want. Fantastic advice. Or if you try hard enough, you can get anything you want. Fantastic advice. If you do well enough in school, you can get whatever you want. Again, fantastic advice. Wish it were true, though. No matter how much I study, how hard I try, no matter how much I try to make myself not to be this big, you know, scary guy from North America, all right? I still could not get people's respect. Because they were, I'm here, my little bubble, and you are just one of the So my, my senior year, on to graduating, graduating from school, I began to realize that I wasn't alone in terms of how people were treating me. Here's kind of what I mean. Has anyone in here ever been ignored? You may be one of the others. Has anyone in here ever been made fun of? Again, you may be one of the others. Has anyone in here ever been stared at to the point that it made them feel really uncomfortable? Does anyone have their hand up? All right, again, you may be one of, one of the others. Anyone in here have a friend, either a best friend or someone that they're dating, who is of a different race? Throw it to someone across the room. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to hurt. Try and catch it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. You may be one of. Anyone in here have a friend who is gay or lesbian? And every time you hear the words, oh my god, that is so gay, you get really offended. You may be one of the others. I really believe that these stereotypes, this, 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 this discrimination, these prejudices, they're all learned behaviors. Whether it's from a parent, unfortunately, a grandparent, and not my uncle, your crazy Aunt Karen, your old Uncle Terry, whatever it is, right? It's all learned stuff. And so I, I've developed these three questions to ask of my family whenever I hear these asinine statements. I begin with this one. Number one. I would say to my old school uncle, Billy, whatever. All right, I would say, Uncle Billy, at any point where our grandparents and great grandparents, were our ancestors ever discriminated against? For everyone in this country, that answer is going to be yes. The second cool. question I would ask is, so how is this person being Jewish or being Italian or being gay? How is that impacting you? How does that impact your day? And the third thing I would say is, so why does it matter? If you don't like the fact that they're, they're Muslim, and that's, that's your thing, and they're not impacting you on a day-to-day -day basis, why does it matter? That someone wants to build a mosque in New York City, why does it matter? How is that going to impact you? So I'm trying to get across. I would never get a straight answer. Again, because prejudice is learned, I would only get BS responses. And you know what BS means, right? Right? You have good BS detectors, yeah? <laughs> Take to say that you do? Right? I kind of detect something that doesn't make sense to you? Yeah? A lot of BS when it comes to the others and these learned prejudices. 
So am I one of the others? One thing that you will learn once you get to college.